Guys, what's up? Tony from the Outsider Channel here with you once again in Anywhere USA. That sounds stupid, but today's not about trail names. Today's not about locations. It's just about getting out of the friggin' house, being appreciative that we still have our bikes to ride because social distancing is perfect for what we do. Being alone on the trail is one of my favorite things. Being trapped in my house with businesses closed and people getting laid off and sick is not. It's terrible. We're in a really scary, shocking time right now. It happened quick. I don't want to dwell on that, but I want to say before I forget, if any of you guys are out there sick, feel free to get some support in the comments. You can talk to me. You can talk to us. We've got a great community here on the channel. Or if you just want to talk bikes and forget about it, do it. Before we get to the trail, since I'm mid-ride, let's rewind a little bit. The bike is looking pristine right now and it's not going to look like that long. So I'll meet you back here in a second. Last time I rode, I got a broken spoke, so I figured get it all done at once. Broken spoke fixed, brand new pretty tire. Brandon at the path suggested a Paul upgrade, which doubles my engagement. While I did that, we gave a uh, derailleur tune-up. Thing was clicking and clacking after Utah. New back brake pad. We cut the bars down from 790 to 780 after that Utah ride. Brake lead on the front. Thanks to the Path Bike Shop. Thanks to Brandon and Mike for working on the bike. I'm done talking. I'm gonna shut up. Let's get the freaking ride. Rider! I know a lot of you guys are stuck inside. Maybe it's winter there and you can't ride your bike. If you're in a place that you can get outdoors, go on a bike ride. It's food for the soul for sure. Grocery stores are crazy. Toilet paper people are crazy. There's a lot of weird stuff going on right now that came about like within just a friggin' matter of days. Our world's got flipped upside down and we're just all trying to figure it out. I think we're all in this together. No matter what politics, what it really comes down to is being present. Trying not to be one of those panic people because panic instills panic. It just creates unnecessary situations for people. Need some berms.
All right, you guys, that's gonna do it. Just get the hell off the couch today. Thanks for coming along with me. Hang in there. Get on your bike if you can. Leave a comment below. Let's chat. And as always, like and subscribe because I have got new videos every week. I'll see you guys next week.